Uh, as you see in Logic Monitor, it will show up as a new icon on the left-hand side when it's enabled. And it has those two major components that we talked about, the billing and recommendations. Uh, let's start off with billing. As I load billing, you will see a multi-cloud view of both my Azure spend and my AWS spend. And they're overlaid here in one interface. I can see that uh, my spend is pretty flat here. Uh, and this is just two weeks. Let me go ahead and go three months and see if I see any change. Interesting, I do see a, a spike in cost here, something to investigate. Uh, in this overview screen, you see where uh, your major costs um, occur um, between providers, uh, between types, uh, resource types. I mean, you can drill in, for example, if you want to see you know, what specifically from a uh, compute perspective. Drill in here and I see bulk of my spend is in AWS's EC2s, um, then Azure Container Instances, Azure Virtual Machines. Um, EKS, so that's just a breakdown of that uh, compute spend. Uh, I also have a nice word map just to kind of show you where uh, your spend is uh, visually and graphically. We can see here um, in different areas, um, most of my spend here is in North America, as you can see by this map. Um, this has a number of different tabs. It gives you the customers the ability to really slice and dice their bill. If they want to, they can um, use normalized properties, for example, provider. Uh, we can click on provider and let's just look at Azure spend um, or let's look at just AWS spend. So everything dynamically adjusts so you can see spend by provider. If I want to see spend by a particular application or account or region, um, any normalized property that um, I am tracking, I have that ability to be able to um, slice and dice the bill. Uh, looking here a little bit more in detail on uh, resource type, for example, um, I wanted to see, I do have that jump in spend. That jump in spend is compute. I can tell about when it took place. Uh, I had a jump in spend right here around uh, May 1st. Um, now, um, potentially I have some inefficiencies around uh, the utilization of that uh, compute spend. This is where I would be going to recommendations and being presented with recommendations from observations of that EC2 or AWS compute resourcing. And sure enough, I've got a bunch here uh, that are showing that uh, Logic Monitor has detected idle. It will detect idle instances where it recommends for either suspension or deletion, uh, as well as it will detect um, over-provisioned or underutilized uh, and suggest, okay, you can move down uh, one class of machine and still have uh, the same you know, level of performance that will not impact the service of your applications, those types of things. Uh, for example, here's my, this is a test environment. So um, I have created this uh, EC2 instance that is pretty much doing nothing. So over uh, the last seven days, it's I mean, CPU utilization is 0.15, so pretty much doing nothing. A little bit of network throughput, but not much. So this is where I could uh, investigate further, where I may go in and look at the more detailed analysis around, you know, were there any alerts? How does this tie into the overall uh, logic monitor collection of data? Was there any, you know, maybe it's an SDT for the last two, seven days. I don't think so, uh, which it is not. Uh, then going back uh, to that resource, I can go back here and I can see that um, it was just recently detected. I see the size of it. I see the memory usage. And I can actually t link me directly to that uh, EC2 instance. Uh, I see that it's running. Um, AWS assumes it's optimized. Uh, but we know that it's really doing nothing. So at this point, I can take action. I can stop it. I can uh, terminate the instance and save money. That's just a quick demo showing you the new cost optimization interface and how our customers can leverage it to have full visibility to their multi-cloud spend, as well as be able to see how efficient their cloud resources are running with recommendations on how to improve efficiency.